What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing good in those crazy times. And uh, yeah, welcome to the behind the scenes of my new video, Home Office. Yeah, I guess we're all in the same situation right now. We're all locked in at home. Uh, I'm here with my roommates, Marius, Hannes, Jonas, and also Laura. It's a, it's a weird situation, but on the other hand, it kind of gives us an opportunity and the chance to get creative at home. And uh, that's why I came up with a couple of ideas and tricks, which I want to do at home, uh, which I'm going to try in the next few weeks. So yeah, enjoy. Plan is I want to jump against the window and then into the pool. So that's why we've got all the mattresses there. It's a little bit sketchy, but I mean, it should be, it should be definitely doable. But still, um, stuff like this is kind of kind of sketchy sometimes, even if I feel quite uh, comfortable, usually. But um, never really did a tire tap against the wall and then jumped into a pool. So, uh, yeah, trying to figure out what's the, what's the easiest way to learn it or to try it. I had a very interesting idea. We just want to put a, a mattress, a big mat, onto this tree. And then we've got the rooftop here and the big gap here. So the plan would be to jump from the rooftop onto the tree, onto the mattress, and then slide down and land hopefully here. This uh, <laughs> might sound really stupid and uh, not very smart, especially in a time where you shouldn't get injured. It actually feels quite comfortable to me. So uh, we actually try to really be very picky with the, with the things we do um, to not get like too much danger. But this one might be a little bit scarier, but I think yeah, it should be, should be doable and shouldn't be too risky. I think we're good to go. I mean, if I look at it, there's actually a big platform to land on. Like, I don't see any, any big problems, to be honest, and I think it should be, uh, should be quite safe. <laughs> it felt like, uh, like I'm part of an, of an action movie. But honestly, that was exactly how I thought it would be. So um, it worked and I think it can work with the bike too. So um, that's a safe setup. Really thankful for, the, for having the, the back jump, which are actually quite cool to, to train stuff on. So uh, next step is probably to go up there, build a little roll in so I get the speed for the bike. And then uh, I think I'm good to go to try it with the bike. You definitely got enough screws everywhere. That's sick. Nice run up. It'll whoop, bunny up sideways onto the big mat and then cruising down, landing on the grass. That's the plan. Okay, Mario, let's have a look. <laughs> what do you think? Seems like rampage to me. Easy. Day two of the tree, jump onto the mat. Uh, mat is up there on the tree, everything's ready. And now uh, I think we're good to go to try it with the bike. Here we go. Let's get 
schnell. Ey, nicht schlecht. Ja. Not bad. <lacht> Wenn er nach da, der Lübe ist zu schuld. Okay, all the test runs were pretty good. And uh, excited and hyped to try it. <laughs> no, that didn't go to plan. Yeah, I think one main step would be to, to land a little bit more on the left. So I've got more space to land with my body on the mat rather than landing on the tree. And um, yeah, I think that should work. Like, uh, yeah, we're good to go for another try. That's insane. That, that worked perfectly. Dope awesome. shit. I'm, uh, I'm stoked on this one. That's actually like exactly how I thought it, it could be. And it worked. Take this. That's a canoe. Walk for me out of Red Bulls. So we are trying to build an insanely ridiculous uh, ramp, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to call this. It's a ramp. It, it doesn't make any sense yeah, at all. It's a ramp. It's a ramp. Plan is to go down that sketchy ramp on skateboards, but on top of the skateboards, there's a washing machine. 
And on top of the washing machine, there's uh, me. And I'm gonna ride down and do a reverse hip hop. It doesn't sound very smart, but I think it's a smart move. trying to do the trampoline backflip on the bike. It's actually so scary. I've got a tram bike where it's kind of easy, but um, like on this bike, it's so scary. Like it's way scarier than doing a backflip over a ramp. I saw that trick from uh, Ryan Williams. He's actually the only person I saw um, ever doing a backflip on a trampoline. Yeah, he did it on a BMX. It will hopefully work on a twice bike as well. Sketchy, but um, yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. All right, that was definitely some hard work. Can't believe they actually worked. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna, gonna look quite cool, the whole line. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked that everything worked, especially especially the trampoline thing. Like it's, uh, you know, sometimes when, you're, when you don't know what's gonna happen, that's like the worst, because you've never done it before. Um, but yeah, stoked. So much stuff from all the packages. Looks like my bike might not fit in here. That's bad, richtig Klatsche. So you probably wonder why we've got so much cardboard here. Most of you guys probably know it from Danny McGaskill's video where he's doing that front flip over the ball. So I thought, uh, well, yeah, I've never, I've never tried it on the ball. I just tried it on a mattress and it kind of worked. And then I thought, well, this could actually work with the big package of cardboards. So here we are. Here we've got the setup in between the house, trying to do a front flip roll over, over all those cardboards. We can give it a try, it worked outside before. Um, you can see the clip where I was training. <laughs>
Very good. Better, <laughs> better than I thought it would be. So, I can like. We're now trying the impossible dark trick shot on the bike. I would love to try to jump from the roof into the pool. I think it shouldn't be a problem. Only thing is the pool isn't that deep. So that's a little bit sketchy, but I think it shouldn't be a problem as the bike will probably stop me quite a lot as soon as I hit the water. And Hannes is gonna fill up the pool. So it's gonna look like the Hannes filled up the pool, even if he didn't do it. <laughs> okay, let's get the pool party started. All right. So one funny fact about us living here is that we've got a song. And if that song plays in the sound system, then every one of us has to jump into the pool no matter what he's doing. Uh, that's a house rule. We're always having a good time. So that's the toy for Rockstar Air, by the way. It's such a sick um, speaker. It's insane for the garden. It's the best thing ever. Maybe not for my neighbors. This always gets me hyped. Like every time I hear that song, Send it! Right guys, look at the view from our roof. It's pretty, pretty cool. So um, here we are. Harness, pool, bike, rooftop, jump. All right. Ready? Ready. Could you be that exhaust man? Good? Good. It's a nice. It's a nice. So uh, this one, this one is actually like a very special idea and I got inspired by uh, by that guy. I, I saw that guy on Instagram. Uh, Tade Roscalia, I think is his name. And uh, this dude is like crazy. He's like so creative. It's insane. Um, but that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And I thought, well, uh, how could I also try that. I mean, it doesn't really work with my fork on that bike and also in the rear it doesn't really work. So we thought, well, we could actually build something and try to make it happen. Plan is to do a fake nose manual, get rid of my back wheel. My back wheel gets against like either a wall or either a harness will uh, throw it back to me. And then I try to put my rear down again and just like straight onto the wheel. So hopefully I can, uh, you know, put the wheel back on again. It's actually quite a quite interesting process to get there, but uh, maybe maybe we can do it. Maybe it works. Maybe not. We'll see. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but maybe. I mean, it's a very simple construction, but it could actually work. So we're gonna try it until uh, until we see if it's gonna work or not. That'd be sick though. guys that's it for my home office video hope you all enjoyed it and of course the behind the scenes as you saw we had a lot of fun making it and it was actually cool to see what we can what we can do on the bike at home and uh, I mean I definitely feel very blessed to be in such a house and to have such a garden we've got enough space to build uh, stuff and to ride my bike 
that was very, very helpful in those times and uh, very thankful for that. And yeah, I hope you all still having a good time in this crazy situation. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video was a little bit of an inspiration for some of you guys to be creative at home, to get creative and to still have a good time. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.